Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Mad 8 today, and today, it's the day after Halloween. As you can see there, called it quite well with the sweets. We mainly this year give out sweets instead of um, going out because a lot of the sweets that he gets given he doesn't like. So, um, mm. so what we're going to do now, mm -mm. Cole's off from school today, it's his last day of the school holidays for him. And the first one I'm going to show is the Dyson. DCO one D still. This one we picked up, I think, last year. This one doesn't 100% work because it should have a it should have a, a, a another motor that works to power the fan, which blows these around. Uh, I, I did that. I sits the topless last year. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah, we'll, don't do that one yet. So that one there is a Dyson DC01 D still. Um, very much it all, almost identical to the original um, upright. The next one is quite a rare one now, believe it or not. This is the Dyson DC07 brush hepper brush control. Now his auntie's actually got a full size version of this one. So um we're just gonna yeah that'd be enough mate. So this one we just picked up and the interesting thing is like a lot of people that collect all the Dysons you can't see it too much in this light but it's gone like a green this this plastic here has almost gone like the original plastic. Um it's gone like a greeny colour but this is actually a fairly rare machine. Because these, he's been searching for one of these for a long, long time. And my, and only my, just and my old school have two of these. Yeah. So these are these come out around around two thousand. No. So there you go. It's a good scale model of the actual original. Yeah, they're not getting a problem with yeah, that. The, the attachments should be green, like the original I'm one. I'm off that little downward one. Right. So I'm going to give this one a little quick go. We just take it. This, this, this is fine. Oh. You get these little balls from like a craft shop. They're the best. They're the best thing to vacuum up with these, aren't they? No, all it comes back to that paper. Oh, that, yeah, like paper uh, hole punching, isn't it? No, it's got bits of paper. So that one is a fairly rare machine. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were at the car boot sale. Um, we started the other end of the car boot cell, and as we worked our way down, somebody had tucked under their um, arm a Dyson DC08, which is even rarer than that one. So we're looking out for a DC08. The other interesting fact is they also do the DC05 in the D-Steel as a toy, and they're very rare as well. The next two, you see these a lot. These are two DC14s. Um, so, I'm going to show, show them this one, demonstrate this one. These all take eight C size batteries, by the way. So, you can imagine. We'll just show that one on. Because it just this one here, he might be looking out for another one, I think. Um, he doesn't really use these, by the way, he just collects them. Because the interesting thing is, he actually has got most of these cleaners in the full size model so uh going to make yeah we've got a lot of light today get a bit of suction so it does work but it doesn't work and the hands is broken yeah we're so going to put that one back in, 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 in the line turn it off good boy let's put this back on so, so that's a DC01, and that's a DC07, and that's a DC14. The next one they uh, they jumped to was a DC25. Now this one's a lot more advanced than the other ones. In, no, I, I call it a DC10 not take a DC10 Yeah, it's actually a DC25. They actually do this in two colour schemes. They do it in a purple... This bit here is purple and grey, like, like the animal. This is like the, the uh, no, origin. No, let's do a red one and a 
with a bit of purple on the top. Yeah. In that Rizzy toy shop in town, they do they do uh uh a red with a bit of purple on the top. Yeah. So there are the different words. versions of these as well. So you you know it's a bit like collecting the full size models really. And do purple ones too. You know. And do a purple one too. Well, so only cut a few of them down, mate. That do. Do a purple ones in the USA too. Now this DCL seven, they actually did a promotion in the USA. If you bought a full size one, you actually got a like an animal one uh, free as well, which um, I should imagine is highly collectible. But it was a promotion that Brayton did. But that's a bit of information on it. I tell you. So this one, yeah. I tell you guys, you do a purple one in the USA too. They do a purple one, yeah. So you have got the switch there. I just do. You've got the switch that you would on the original one. And then also, from on the top, you've got a hand. It's like a little sensor that covers up no, the... No, uh, no. Look, metal. Yeah, it's a sensor, mate. It's a little metal bar. It's, it's a light sensor that when you cover it up, it actually sucks. Uh, metal. Oh, is it? Metal. It, no, you've got two more fingers that make the contact in your hand as it goes through the back. Ah, right, so yeah, it makes a contact. It uses your body yeah. as, a, as a battery, really. Yeah, and it actually got battery. So that's quite an advanced one, really. Look. Here goes, guys. It's not great. No. No. It tips down. Yeah, so it, it goes. So really, it doesn't suck that well. It does, it will go backwards. Oh, right. Then it's yeah, so it's all gone up, so it all works. You can do the next one, mate. It's getting the rest of the up. We can, use, we can use it with the other one. Done. 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 Right. The next one we have, even though this is an upright one, this is a DC twenty two animal. This uh, is on one of our videos. Toys. We actually got a DC twenty three motor ride at the moment. Um, what we're doing videos for. So, uh, <coughs> so this is like the smaller version of the DC twenty three, but this is a toy. So uh, we'll get this one out, and now we're going to start going to the some of the vintage ones. So he's going to get these out. This is a straight suction machine. Go and get a few out for it, mate. That'd be enough. I'm going to spend ten minutes back there. What do we? Remember, these are all owned by children. So if they're not in brilliant condition, these are all owned by children. No, those are brand new. That one's brand new, and that one's brand new. Yeah, that's and right. This, and this one's brand new too. I think you had one like that when you was, when you was a little boy, didn't you? What one? I think you had a DC25, or no, you had one like that, a yellow one, didn't you? Uh, no. That's that's one when I was a little boy. Oh yeah, that's his original one, yeah, so it's still one piece. And you see, this is my, this is my second one, and this is my next one when yeah, I get bigger. Yeah, we bought this bigger. one now, didn't we, because... Both. Well, it was both, cheap. Both of them I bought new, and then in this one I bought one of like this size. No vacuum attic, boys, and when they're cheap, see, that's exactly the toys. And my buddy's has got one of these. Yeah, he's too. got all these. Well, I don't think he's got a one and a seven. He's not got a one in. No. He's got, a, he's got a four work too. He's got a toy four work. So. These are kinking them. Yeah, they're a nightmare. <laughs> Just like the original ones. If you. Mm. Yeah. Right. Well, we're going to vacuum up with this one now. Um, it was a kink in the hose, um, just like the original ones do. So you can see the pores going up the tube. Look. Wait, the Henry's too. The Henry's have got the plastic tube, see it goes up the tube. Look. So there is a bit of suction on that one. No, no, I'm not. And then use this end, look. No. This way, this end is better. Yeah. Do it slowly, mate. That's it. So it does suck up. It is quite look. good for the children for century. Looking at the tubes going up, I think that's one of the interests that Cole had. Watching all these things going up the tubes, got them in the vacuum. He was never happy with the uh, the full size, the, the toy ones, so he, he wanted the, the large ones, really. And that's what, that's... One of the reasons why he clicks vacuums, he's always had an interest in them. Like you say, when we, we pick know. a lot of these up at the boot sale. I don't know what, I don't know what gives me in vacuum show. 
Well, what do you say now, Carl? Bye. For now, and please subscribe to Vacuum Money.